wants to do something with their life and has done something with their life has gone through the exact chapter that you're going through and it's the lonely chapter it's the chapter where you you're you don't fit in with your own friends but you don't have the outcomes yet to fit into it you're going to date me we have to agree to these seven i'd be wondering what is this weird boxy thing well this is a star tracker <laughs> For so long, I wanted to be a creator. I used to tell myself, my life starts when I hit 10,000 followers, or once I get followers, my life will change. And I feel like I've trapped myself in a way where I'm only focused on the outcome and not the steps to get where I want to go. I've grown up watching a lot of creators go from zero to everything, which I took to heart and find incredibly inspirational. However, now at 27, I've caught myself in a hamster wheel of just trying to hit it big. I find myself trying to create viral short form content videos, hoping that one would pop off and then I could finally start down the journey of being a creator. And after years and years of trying to create content this way, I can say without a doubt that this is the worst way possible that you could try to create content and even a worse way to try to become successful. It has been a while since I've sat down and created a YouTube video. And I just wanna turn on the camera and talk about content, specifically short form content. I think I have hit my absolute peak breaking point of short form content. If you are any sort of creator or if you just swipe through Instagram or swipe through TikTok, you see the same rinse and repeat shit that everyone is doing. And it's like, they're all trying to sell the same product, but convince someone else that my video is cooler because I use that sound effect or look at my unboxing of the Apple Pro Vision because it's with rap music, but look at mine because mine's ASMR, but also look at this cool iPhone or look at me. I'm taking a photo of a sunset, but look at this photo of the sunset. It's just the same highlight reel and I've given two years of my life trying to play that game of creating videos for the sake of trying to hit the algorithm, make it big, and then I become a content creator. Then I become successful. And that is the worst way of going about any sort of content on the internet. I remember countless times, countless times of me posting a video and sitting and just thinking, okay, Let's let the likes come in. I got 20 likes, I got 30 likes. Okay, this is this is the video. And I would get happy, I'd be like, okay, this is, this is the video that's gonna hit and it's gonna pop off and people are gonna see me and it never does. I think for short form content, you very much truly have to play the game of attention hacking and trying to get more people to sit on your videos longer. And it's just a game of circles and circles and circles. And I'm done with it. I've had so many mental breakdowns of just like, what am I doing with my life? I've spent hours every week, hours upon hours, just perfecting short form videos and putting it out there and seeing it just do trash. I think it's the most terrible way to create videos and I'm not done. I will never not create content because it is a part of who I am and it's a part of something that I want to do, but I think I'm just done with short form content and trying to play that game. And I think if you're in that same boat of what I should be doing, why is my video going that way? Should I start with that sound effect? Should I color grade my video that way? Oh, should I just post my desk? Oh, should I just find a product and sell products? Just take a step back take a breather and really think about what you wanna be creating videos on. So that being said, here's my thoughts of, if you're in the same boat as me, if you're in the same mindset as me, what and how should you be creating videos going forward? I've thought about this for a while and I have recently become obsessed with Modern Wisdom by Chris Williamson. It's a excellent podcast of just having people on and having real life discussions about specific topics and like happiness, uh, growth hacks, 
things like that. And I get super inspired off of those things. And then it hit me over the past five years, especially the past two years, I've just been putting everything into creating videos. And instead of just doing everything to create videos, I'm changing my life and I'm changing how I'm creating my videos and thinking, I don't want to just be a content creator. I want someone to look at me and be like, oh, that's Chris. He creates videos. He runs every single day. He reads three books a month. He knows these things. He's an expert in that field rather than that's Chris. He just creates videos on the internet and yeah, that's just that's just what he does. He just creates mindless videos. One one day he'll pop off, but that's just Chris. He creates mindless videos. I want to be that's Chris. And I think that is the way to go about creating content. It's easy to look at someone and say, hey, that guy made a video. If I do it like that, I will be like him. And the thing is, is we compare ourselves to others so much and say, we want to be like them, but we really need to take a step back and say, what do we want to be? What do we want? Do we really want to run a video production because someone that we follow runs that and it's cool? Do we really want to be an artist because oh, I follow someone and that's cool and I just wanna make videos like that? It's easy to look at someone and say, I want that. It's hard to put in the work to get there and to get what you want. And that's what I'm doing now. Putting in the work, I'm 27, putting in the work and in the next five years, I will be relentless and I will just be putting in the work, documenting that work and just being the best version that I can be. Because the more you improve yourself, the more you have to offer and the more you have to offer, the better your videos will be, period. That's just my thought. It's a little ramble rant and expect more videos on YouTube because this is all I'm pursuing for the rest of the year. And I highly suggest you guys take what I'm saying here, figure out what you actually want to do and pursue that like there's no tomorrow. That's been everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, weekly uploads on this channel. And down below, I also have a free product for you guys. It is a riser. I use it in every single one of my videos. It's completely free. If you click the link, you just put in zero for the price, put in your email address, it gets sent to you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning of the video, a little cinematic montage for you guys. And expect more videos coming in hot because I'm just, I'm fired up to create YouTube videos and I'm fired up to, to just give and see what happens. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys later.